Namaste. Tonight's class uh, will be uh, flows, uh, vinyasa flows that is inspired by Sun Salutation B. So it will be mostly uh, a flow of standing poses. So let's start by coming into uh, standing on with both feet firmly planted on our mat feet apart, align the heels under the sitting bones, roll the shoulders back, palms facing forward, press your chin to the back and down, closer to the chest, so you are looking straight ahead. You could focus your gaze at a point in front of you or you could choose to close your eyes as we stay here in mountain pose for several rounds of breathing. Taking inhales and exhale through our nostrils. Start reconnecting with our body and our breath. Do a simple body scan starting from the crown of our head all the way down to the soles of our feet. And notice areas of tension. And with every exhale, release and let go. Soften. And start to shift our awareness to the feet in particular the soles of our feet and locate the three points of our foot. The first one being the base of our big toe and the next point is the base of our little toes and the third one is, will be the center of the heel. And start to distribute the weight of our physical body evenly throughout the three points and evenly between the two feet. Two more breaths here. And after your next exhale, if you are closing your eyes, please open them and start circling the neck gently in one direction. Move slowly, feel the articulation of the joints and then reverse. and bring the head back to the center. And this time we will repeat the same movements, but we will involve also the spines. So from the waist up, we'll move in circle along with the neck. So start in one direction. Keep the arms relaxed. And reverse to the other direction. Could close your eyes if you start to feel dizzy. 
and bring everything back to the center. Bend the elbows and place your hands over your shoulders and start circling the shoulder joints. Again, move slowly and make the circle as big as possible. Keep breathing. Feel the articulation of your shoulder joints. And then reverse. And release. Let your arms drop to the side of your body. So with the palms facing forward, bring the arms out about 30 to 45 degrees from the hips and then bring it higher up. Make like a Y letter, shape of Y, letter Y. And then bend the elbows. So both hands are behind your head, but not touching your head. And then extend the arms and turn the arm bones so that the palms facing towards the back, lower to 45 degrees. Bend the elbows. So both hands behind your back, but not touching your back. And keep your shoulders open as much as possible. Extend, turn, palms facing forward. Letter Y, elbows bend, extend, palms facing back, lower, bend the elbows, and keep going. And from here, we'll add calf raise. So when the arms moving up, Raise your heels, and when the palms or the arm moving down, lower the heels. Press more into the ball of your big toes if you are collapsing, um, collapsing out during your calf raise. One more round. And release. Grab your left wrist with your right fingers. And then pull the left arm to the right side. As you side bend your torso to the right. Keep the chest open. And then cross the left leg in front of the right leg. So the left foot reaching forward while your torso is reaching up. So feeling a gentle stretch across the left side of your ribs and also hips. And release everything back to the center. Grab the left wrist with the uh, right wrist with the left fingers and pull the right arm to the left. Keep the chest open. And then cross the right leg in front of the left. Release and bring everything back to the center. Step the right foot back and press the top of your right foot down towards the mat. And then bend both knees and drag the right foot closer to the left. Still pressing the top of the right foot as you straighten both knees. And then release. Step the left foot back, pressing the top of the left foot 
down and then bend both knees, drag the left foot forward, still pressing the top of the left foot as you straighten the knees. and release so from standing in tadasana heels under the sitting bones we'll come up again into the calf raise press the balls of the big toe if your feet are collapsing out and then as you lower the heels down, bend your knees, push the thighs out, and come into chair's pose. Straighten the knees, raise the heels, come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, lower the heels, bend the knees, lower the hips, chair's pose. And press your thighs out because there is a tendency for it to collapse towards each other. So you want to stay strong and push the thighs outward. Straighten the knees, calves raise. Exhale, lower into chair. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Couple more. and release back into mountain pose. Step towards the front of your mat. And since today's flow is, uh, uh, will be inspired by Sun Salutation B, we will do uh, one set of uh, Sun Salutation B. So find your mountain pose, feet apart, heels under sitting bones, engage your legs, Squeeze your buttocks. Sit, uh, stand with a neutral spine. Roll your shoulders. Palms facing forward. Inhale into extended mountain. Reach your arms up. And exhale. As you bend your knees, lower your hips into chair's pose. The next exhale, straighten the knees and fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay light on your fingertips. Look down. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back into plank. One inhale in plank. Exhale, drop your knees. Bend your elbows. Bring the chest between your hands and inhale, glide forward into cobra or baby cobra. Inhale and exhale, tuck the toes and press up into downward facing dog. For the first down dog, you could keep a slight bend on your knees. Tip your tailbone up, press against the mat with your hands. Bend one knee and straighten the other and switch. And keep switching for several rounds. And then see if you can maintain a straighter knees and try to ground your both heels onto the mat. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Keep your pelvis stable and squared towards the ground. Bend the right knee. Start to lean your body weight forward and step right foot in between the hands 
drop the back knee. So check that the two feet is not in line, but maintain uh, the distance of uh, of your hip between the two feet. So it's more like uh, as if the two feet are standing on a railroad track. And take an inhale, raise up into warrior one, palms pressing together or apart. And then exhale, both hands down, step back to plank. And you could choose the first variation with the knees down, or if you regularly uh, practice chaturanga, you can lower onto chaturanga and then glide into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press up and back into downward facing dog. One extra breath in downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg. Keep the pelvis squared to the ground. Bend the left knee. Bring the left thigh close to your chest as you shift your body weight forward. And then step the left foot in between or close to the hands. Drop the back heels and again check that the two feet are not exactly in line but they should be a distance. And inhale, come up into warrior one, arms reaching up to the sky. And exhale, lower both hands down, step back into plank. And your choice, knees down or legs straight, lower and glide up into a gentle back bend in cobra or upward facing dog. One inhale and exhale, push up and back into downward facing dog. You can either step or jump forward, bringing your feet in between your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. The next inhale, raise your arms up, bend your knees, and lower your hips, coming into chair and exhale or inhale to straighten your knees extended mountain and exhale lower your arms by your side so the next flow will be a, a modified sun salutation b so start with prayer pose uh, prayer hands in front of your chest, feet apart, heels under sitting bones. So we will. The goal is to keep the prayer hands in the center of your chest, and also to keep both knees um, beside each other. So when we when we twist and lower onto a twisted chair. Block will be a really good idea. Forgot to mention about it in the beginning of the class. So reset, come into Tadasana, feet apart, hands in prayer. Inhale to twist to the right side. Keep the prayer hands in the middle of your chest and start to lower your hips by bending your knees and then side slide as side bend to lower the left elbow close to your knees twist the chair and look down and place your left palm or left finger fingertips 
on the block as you straighten your knees and reach the right arm at uh, the right leg towards the back reach the right arm up and maybe get some air time in a half moon pose before you step the right foot back and twist your torso and arriving in uh, your lunge and step the left foot back into plank drop the knees and lower your chest in between your hands and glide forward to baby cobra and place your elbows under your shoulders and tuck the back toes keep the shoulders away from your ears arch your upper back breathe in your sphinx pose and extend the right arm to the side and bring the right hand slightly closer to you and press up to twist and look towards the uh, right foot behind sphinx with thoracic twist and inhale come back onto your sphinx and extend the left arm out and bring the left hand slightly in and press to twist to your left and look behind or look towards your left foot breathe and inhale return back to the Things with both forearms on the ground or on your mat and then bring your hands um, under your or in line or with your armpits and then press up onto all four so wrists under shoulders and uh, knees under your hips and start to round your spine including your neck so look towards your belly button and think as if you want to bring your ribs to touch your pelvis so move into maximum spinal flexion that you can do Keep breathing and then tuck your toes, still maintaining maximum spinal flexion and then hover your knees a few inches above the mat. Breathe and then push your hips up and back, straighten your knees, return into downward facing dog move back into neutral spine tip your tailbone up inhale right leg up pelvis square towards the mat bend the right knee bring the right thigh close to the chest shift your body weight forward and step the right foot forward as you drop the back heels inhale rise up into warrior one exhale spread the arms to the side palms facing up and then rotate or spiral just your forearms so spiral it so that you are bringing your palms to face down look towards your left hand and open up to the side 
coming into warrior two and then swivel to the other side come into reverse warrior looks towards your right hand swivel back warrior two reverse warrior and keep going switching between warrior two and reverse warrior check that your front knee is still bent and then bring your sternum to face forward and this time lower your chest closer to the front knee spread the arms to the side palm facing down and then twist to the left and twist to the right to the left and to the right couple more keep breathing and then lower both hands down step back to plank and push up push your hips up and back into downward facing dog and again move into a spinal flexion so round your neck and entire back as you shift your body weight forward and start to lower the front of your hips towards the mat and when the hips is close to the mat unroll your spine and move into gentle back bend upward facing dog with the toes stuck behind and we'll move back to downward dog with the same way so move back into spinal flexion as you push your hips away from the mat and bring the hips up and back to downward facing dog inhale left leg up bend the left knee shift the body weight forward and step your left foot in between your hands drop the back heel inhale rise up into warrior one spread your arms to the side spiral the whole arm out so palm facing up and then spiral in just the forearms to bring the palms down and then turn to the right coming into warrior two looking towards your right hand and then swivel into reverse warrior looking towards your left hand and then back to warrior two reverse warrior and keep switching for a couple more rounds and then bring the sternum to face forward keep your arms relaxed for now and then bring your torso lower and closer towards the front knee arms spread to the side keep the palms facing down this time and then twist to the right and twist to the other direction back to the right side twisting to the left to the right and left one more time to each side and then lower both hands down step back into plank and downward facing dog come into your spinal flexion round your neck your entire back as you shift your body weight forward start to lower the front of your hips towards the mat and then unroll arch your upper back gently upward dog and start to move back into spinal flexion round your entire back as you lift your hips away 
from the mat and downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and step the right foot forward. Bring yourself closer to the block if you have moved further away from it and place your right hand or your right, uh, right palm or right fingertips on that block. Start to lean forward to float the back leg and twist to the left side, reaching the left arm up. Maybe one or two seconds in Ada Chandrasana on the second side and bend the front knee and place the back leg or step it forward. Hands in prayer in the middle of your chest. So you are twisting to the left with the knees bent and hips low back into twisted chair. And then bring your torso upright, straighten your knees, and untwist back to face forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, arms down, back into Tadasana. So back into Tadasana with prayer hands. Keep the prayer hands in the middle of your chest. As you start to bend both knees, lower your hips. And this time we will twist to the right side. And lower the left elbow close to the knees. And look down, placing the left palms or left fingertips on the blocks. As we extend the left leg towards the back and reach the right arm up. One or two seconds in twisted half moon pose. And lower, <laughs> lower the back leg. Place both hands down as you untwist and step back into plank. Lower the knees, bend the elbows, chest in between your hands, and then glide up to baby cobra before you lower your forearms down and align the elbows under the shoulders, arriving back in sphinx pose. Keep your legs and glutes engaged. Arch your upper back, shoulders away from your ears. Bend the right knee and reach your right arm to the back without losing the extension of your back. And if you can reach the right ankle, externally rotate your right arm and grab the right ankle from the inside of your leg. And kick the right foot back as your right hand pull the foot towards you. If you can't reach, then it's all right. Just keep reaching the right arm towards the back and reach the right heel towards your hips. And release back into sphinx pose. And we'll do the second side. So start with bending the left knee and reach your left arm towards the back without losing the flexion of your spine. If you cannot locate your left ankle, just keep reaching the left arm back 
and bring the left heel towards your hips. If you can reach, then accidentally rotate the left arm so you will grab the left ankle from the inner side of your left leg. And from there, kick the foot back while pulling the foot towards you using your hand. And release back onto sphinx pose. Bring the hands back in line with your armpit and press up onto tabletop or all four position and start to flex your spine find your maximum spinal flexion stay and breathe should feel like a, um, doing crunches on your abdominal area and tuck the back toes not losing the spinal flexion and start to hover your knees few inches above the mat just two more breaths here keep the spine flex and start to straighten your knees push your hips back onto downward facing dog inhale right leg up exhale step the right foot forward back heel down inhale warrior one and then open up the arms into a thing is called cactus pose cactus arm so elbow bend palms facing forward and bring the elbow slightly forward then your hands so adding some external rotation onto the arms and from here inhale arch your upper back to any degree where uh, is it comfortable for you and then exhale lower down bring your torso to the inner side of the front leg as you interlace your fingers and pull both arms away from your back and then inhale back into cactus arm with a gentle back bend exhale lower the torso onto the inner side of the front leg arms away from your back inhale arch exhale lower and let go your hands the interlacing fingers just keep your arms by your side and raise the back heel keep your gaze looking down as you shift your body weight forward and float the back leg and come into warrior three find your, find your warrior three you don't have to lift the back leg too high but you want to keep your hips square and exhale lower the back foot lower the back heel inhale warrior one exhale hands down step back plank and downward facing dog start to flex your spine round your back as you shift your body weight forward and lower the front of your hips towards the mat as you unroll and arch your upper back downward uh, upward facing dog keep the toes stuck behind you and coming back into spinal flexion 
as you push your hips up and back onto downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Bend the left knee. Shift your body weight forward. Step the left foot in between your hands. Drop the back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, cactus arm. External rotation on the shoulders. Bring the elbows forward of your hands. Inhale, arch your upper back. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind. Lower your torso. And pull your arms away from your back. Inhale, slowly come up. Arch your upper back. Exhale, lower. Let's do a couple more. And you keep your torso beside the, your front thigh and on the inner side of the front leg. But let go your interlacing fingers. Just keep your arms by your side. And slowly work on the balance as you lift the back heel. Keep your gaze looking forward. Start to shift yourself forward as you Raise the back leg up onto variation of warrior three. Exhale, lower the back foot, lower the back heel. Inhale, arms up warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank and downward dog. Stay for about five breaths in downward dog. Keep your tailbone pointing up. Keep a micro bend on your knees if you need to. Inhale, raise left leg up. Bend the left knee, step forward, left foot in between your hands. And again, if you are, uh, if you have already moved side away from the blocks, scoot a little bit closer to it. As you will place your uh, right fingertips or right palm on the block. And come, bring your torso forward, float the back leg, and twist yourself to the left, opening the left arm, reaching up one or two seconds in reverse half moon, and then bend the front knee, step the other foot beside it. Look down for now for balance, but the torso is still twisting to the left. As you bring your hands into prayer, position the prayer hands in the center of your chest. Twist the chair. Inhale, bring your torso upright, straighten your knees, and untwist to face forward. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, lower your arms by your side. And that's, it's over. We'll move on into a few uh, seated asana and then closing with a shavasana. So from mountain pose, inhale, arms up, exhale. Dive down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale bend your knees lower your hips and sit your bottoms down and roll back straighten your legs over your head halasana inhale bend your knees balance on your tailbone and come into boat pose with both knees bent arms reaching forward so press your knees together and spread your feet apart from each other so working on the hips internal rotation and bring the feet together and down drop both legs to the right side right hand down and then press the hips up open the knees come into variation of a clamshell and lower your hips swing the legs to the other side press the left hand down hoist the hips up and open clamshell on the second side lower the hips and roll back halasana inhale bend the knees come up to squat and all the way down to forward fold inhale move back up into extended mountain exhale dive down inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold start to bend your knees lower your hips sit your bottoms down and roll back halasana inhale boat pose keep both knees bent press the knees together and spread the feet apart one more breath and then feet together lower the feet on the mat drop both legs to the right side press the right hand down to hoist your hips up open the chest open the knees apart exhale lower your hips and swing the legs to the left side press your left hand hoist the hips up and open into clamshell on the second side exhale lower your hips and roll back halasana bend the knees press up onto squat straighten the knees forward fold inhale come up into extended mountain exhale dive down forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold bend your knees sit and roll back and this time stay with your back on the mat lower the feet flat on the floor keep the feet apart about your hip width distance you could let the knees knock onto each other arms by your side palms facing up lower your chin closer to your chest elongating the back of your neck you can gently close your eyes and start to return onto your natural breathing start to slow down consciously make an effort to extend your exhale or make your exhale longer than your inhale do not need to count just making an effort to exhale all the air out from your lungs
bring your attention into the feeling of air right at the tip of your nostrils. Feel the movement of air entering as you inhale and the movement of air exiting as you exhale. And whenever you are ready, extend your legs one at a time. Keep the feet apart, about mat width distance. Do a minor adjustment on your uh, position. Get 10% more comfortable before Returning back to your breath. Bring your attention back onto the movement of air entering and exiting your nostrils. Becoming more quiet and still. And finally, give your body permission to rest. Start to deepen your breathing. Take one deep inhale through your nostril. And exhale with a sigh through your mouth. Inhale. And out. In. And out. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Shake your head side to side. Bring your legs together and raise your arms overhead. Give yourself one big stretch and relax, roll onto your side, 
and curl up like a baby and stay there for a moment. Keep your eyes closed. And whenever you are ready, use your hand to gently press up into seated position. Cross your legs in front of you. Open your eyes. Inhale, arms up. Press the palms together, make a prayer. Lower the prayer to the center of your heart. Thank you for joining me today. Stay well and I hope to see you next time. Namaste.